So to talk a little bit more about our partnerships as well as the overall Google TV vision, I'd like to introduce Eric Schmidt, CEO of Google. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rishi. Thank you, Vincent. Um, 20 years ago, I sat in the equivalent of this room and people talked about uh, the notion of getting your television guide integrated with the television. 10 years ago, Web TV and other companies of its kind said maybe we should find a way to integrate the way you communicate and the way you use the web onto your television. We've been waiting a long, long time for today. It took a lot to make this happen. Let's start with what it took. It took the internet. It took extraordinarily fast CPUs, DSPs, a whole new architecture around software, the winning of open source, and all of the platforms that you've seen. It's much harder to marry a 50-year-old technology and a brand new technology than those of us from the brand new technology area thought. Of the things that we did, and you saw in the demo, you saw the full potential of cloud computing. You saw the ability to actually go from the server to the client, in this case, the television, and you could even program it and program it using the powerful tools that we all use every day. There was one other thing that we needed, and, that, and, and it turned out to be fundamental. We needed a whole ecosystem of partners. What I'd like to do is to bring the CEOs of some significant partners that made this happen on stage right now. First, Paul Orlini, CEO of Intel. <laughs> Paul. Thank you, thank, thank you very much, Paul. You want to go ahead and, and have a seat. How, Sir Howard Stringer, CEO of Sony. Thank you very, thank you very much, Howard. Serious crowd. Serious crowd, yes. They're engineers, Howard. They're our customers. Jerry Quinlan, Logitech. Thank you very much, Jerry. Thank you. Uh, Charlie Ergen is the CEO of uh, the Dish Network. There he goes. Thank you. Hi, Charlie. Nice to see you. And uh, Brian Dunn, the CEO of Best Buy. <coughs> Hi, Brian. Nice Thanks, to see you. Thank you very much. And uh, Shantanu Narayan, the most Interestingly <laughs> controversial person in the last few weeks, <laughs> certainly involving Flash, the CEO of Adobe. <laughs> John Thank you. Thank you. What, what, I thought I would, what I thought I would do is, is ask a few questions of everybody, and we sort of run over. Um, I think that it was just a phenomenal, phenomenal set of demos and announcements. Paul, um, you and I have talked a lot about the future of Intel uh, the things that you're doing. Uh, the Atom processor turns out to be really, really key in all of this. What is it that the Atom processor actually is doing here? Why is it so special? Why is it not just a generic Intel processor? Well, uh, there's, there's two things about this chip that, that are inside uh, the TVs and the boxes that you described. One is that it, it, it is a version of Atom, so we bring the full processing capability of Intel that you expect, the software compatibility, the web compatibility is all there with the performance of a, of a today's uh, netbook, notebook kind of products. But we've put around the Atom a bunch of specialized circuitry for, for this, these devices uh, that are the things that are expected in, in high performance consumer electronics, high HD video, uh, encoding, decoding, very high performance graphics and so forth. The combination of the two gives you the ability to have that internet experience, but also the CE experience. Did when you all built the Atom processor, was this the use that you intended? Was it a broader video platform that you foresaw? It was one of the uses. Uh, we, we have 2,000 applications for, around Atom today that are just popping up from televisions to, to smartphones to, uh, to smart cars. The microprocessor, Eric, our view of the microprocessor is, is it's, a, it's a transformational technology. It makes the things it goes into smarter. And when you combine that with uh, that capability with the internet and, and wonderful software, 
to get new capabilities that, are, are, that will change the industries in ways that have, we haven't seen before. So in this sense, it's an extension of the Intel platform strategy. Absolutely. As, as, at, a, at a fundamental level. Now, Shantanu, we've had a lot of fun in the press. Um, you, you've been on the other side of an awful lot of stuff. Uh, Flash roughly is used by 100% of the web, but it might be 99.97%. <laughs> So why is Flash so important to this? What is Flash going to be used for in this new platform? Um, why are we fighting for Flash? Well, Eric, first, I, I think it's tremendously exciting uh, announcements here. Thanks for having us. Um, I think it really is all about engaging experiences on the web. And as was uh, discussed, really the convergence of getting that content and applications to any device that people wish to consume those content and applications on, whether it's a smartphone on Android, whether it's TV, or whether it's a PC. And uh, as far as we're concerned, this is really about trying to create family harmony. So if uh, Rishi's family can get Elmo when they want and uh, the NBA when they want, it's all in flash, and it works as advertised across all of these different devices. And I think for all of the content creators here, we'd love to get them an opportunity to be able to express their creativity and get it across all of this uh, set of devices. What is it special about Flash in this platform? Uh, there's clearly hardware acceleration. Is there something that Flash does special here that makes this more interactive, zippier? You know, what's the technical thing that happens as a result of, what, of why you're using Flash? Well, we're working on 10.1, and I think we announced 10.1 Flash. Flash. Uh, and we announced today that we're going to have a public beta on Android. Uh, and what we've had to do really was to take into account uh, some of the key issues to get it to really sing on these devices. So things like battery life, things like performance, and uh, really getting the entire power of the web, whether it's high definition video or whether it's casual gaming, where you know uh, most of the casual gaming now on the web is in Flash on your particular platform. So it's been a a ton of work with uh, Sony and with Google to really make sure that it's optimized for the respective platforms. So, so, how, so Sir Howard, when you, when you think about Sony and you think about, I mean, to me, Sony is television. So. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> so, are people going to go out and buy new televisions because of this? I mean, what is, the, in fact, the state of the television industry? The breadth of this, from my perspective, now having seen the full demo, including some Bluetooth issues, it's, it's much broader than I thought. Because it may be possible that people will spend as much time or more watching something other than television on their televisions. Yeah, I, I think it is thrilling, and I agree with you. I mean, I was watching demonstration here today, which were, which showed what can be accomplished. I mean, it was stressful with all everybody's Bluetooth on and phones on and so forth. So it's a fairly stressful experience. But when you put all this as, we've, as we'd, we've done for the fall into the world's first internet television, all that will be simplified and made seamless so that the, the, the opportunities that you demonstrated uh, are just mind-boggling. I mean, it's, it's essentially evolving all the time. It's upgradable all the time. The more you find out about the, the find out about the internet, the more entertainment you find for yourself. The, the rea not just existing content, but reality content. What you can do with each other, your families, and so forth. The good and the bad and the ugly, and, and all of this is plausible on this um, feature. And when we launch it in the fall, um, with everything did I, integrated. Did I, did I just hear that? When we launch this in the fall. fall. That would be this year. This year. Yeah, yeah. Which, by the way, might be for the Christmas buying season. Pardon? Yeah, well, that's why we're being very kissy to Best Buy. At the <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate the love, Howard. We yeah, really yeah. do. <laughs> May it be returned. Yes. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> so, you know, Sony is, is uh, and we, at Google, we always use Sony as sort of the definition of an innovative company just one interesting idea after the other. Sometimes hugely successful, sometimes not as successful, but a passion of innovation that started from literally the founding of the firm. Do you foresee using this kind of a platform more broadly? How, how will you, in fact, take Sony forward with some of this new technology that you've seen? And, and not, just the, not just the Google TV, but the integration with all the devices and things like that. 
Well, we already did, for example, yeah. the Sony Ericsson product. We talked about this. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to plug Sony Ericsson after that HTC wonderful plug you gave. But Sony, Sony Ericsson phone is not available in the United States yet in, in great numbers, but it is already, thanks to your platform, dominating Japan. It is the we number one We never use the word phone. dominate, right. Howard. <laughs> <laughs> well, it you, is the most successful yes, in, yeah. in Japan. Significant market share. Significant market share. No, no, when you beat Apple, you Paul dominate. Paul is smiling. <laughs> it's a new definition. You guys will get your turn, trust me. <laughs> no, this is, this is um, a wonderful relationship that we ex expect to expand into um, other hardware and beyond. I mean, it's, um, we are fairly giddy with excitement at this new relationship. You're a partner with whom we have no fear. With whom you have no fear. <laughs> that's, that's fairly unusual in our business. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> so, so, so for the people who are not going to run out to Best Buy and buy a brand new Sony television, or whatever it is Howard is up to with, <laughs> with these guys, uh, what was interesting in, in lo reading about Logitech, you guys are the largest manufacturers of remotes, among other things. I, yeah. I think of Logitech as my keyboard, my mouse. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're a much bigger ecosystem than I had thought. Yeah, I think it's probably a safe bet that, that uh, everyone in the room probably still knows us best for those, for those kinds of products, keyboards, mice, webcams. But we've actually been uh, innovating in the living room for, for several years now in a, with a lot of products and in a lot of areas, but most notably through our line of remote controls called Harmony, which I think probably, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Thank you. We've got some, we've got some customers in the room. Yeah. Uh, and, and we've been very successful. But you know, we felt that the biggest opportunity in the living room, as excited as we are about how well we've done with Harmony, we felt for a long time the biggest opportunity in the living room is really what Rishi was talking about, which is it's this combination of TV content and the web and bringing it all together in a seamless open platform. And that's why we're so excited about Google TV. Obviously, what, what we're looking at, frankly, Eric, is the opportunity to do what we've done successfully for 25 years around the PC, which is create a whole new ecosystem of peripherals around Google TV. Do, uh, now you're going to ship this box, right? Right. Um, what will I do with the box? Tell, tell me, what, what, if, if I, I want this now, as you know. Yeah. We had this conversation. What do I do with the box? I just plug it in? Yeah, I mean, so, so we will be providing, uh, as was called out earlier by, by Rishi, a companion box. And, uh, the, and with that compa companion box, you will get a controller. And the controller integrates a keyboard. Is this controller is going to work better than the one we used. Yeah. <laughs> I should hope so. Uh, so you've got a controller with a keyboard, and it has remote control capabilities basically integrated into it. Uh, so we will ship that in the fall. Uh, uh, Sir which, which year? This year. This year. <laughs> Time Thank for you. Christmas. Just getting it on Absolutely. record. Absolutely. But what you, ha what you will need to do, uh, we've made it you know, very simple. Basically, if you're one of the 60 million HD TV households in the US, you are, uh, you are a target for this product. Basically, all you need is an HDMI uh, input, and it's pretty easy to set up and get going. I'm going to come to Christmas at the end with Best Buy, so let's ask, uh, let's ask Charlie. You've, I think you've been in this industry, the, the video distribution satellite industry, for 25 or 30 years? It would be 30 years. 30, 30 years. Um, you're the fastest growing satellite network in the United States right now. We're actually the fastest pay TV provider in the United States. That includes all cable, phone companies, and satellite. Wow, congratulations. Um, so, so to some degree, you represent both, both the traditional structure as well as this new structure. How will this technology, how will these devices and so forth, how will they change the viewing experience? How will they change your business? You've obviously bet big time on this. Uh, you must believe that it's going to be a big phenomena, right, for your subscribers. Presumably, you'll continue your high, even higher growth rate as a result. Tell me how it plays out for you. Well, we think it's going to grow our business, and, and we think it opens opportunity. Uh, we always felt that good business is giving our, giving, giving our customers what they want or what they may not know they want, but we believe they want and kind of get ahead of it. So we already know our customers um, watch TV, and then they go to the, another room, to their study or their office or somewhere else in the house and they watch stuff on the computer. So we know that they want to combine those two things in a seamless way. So one of the things we've been, you know, this is, we've been thinking about this for about 10 years. We started with, with web TV, um, 
which ultimately bought by Microsoft and, and built the first DVR and, and a web experience that was a dial-up. So it was just ahead of its time. Uh, when Google, but, but, it, but in many ways, I think it showed the path. It kind of showed the path. And when, when we started working with Google about three years on advertising and, and, and um, viewer measurement, um, as you guys started looking at Google TV over the last couple of years, we're, we were happy to get involved in the process pretty early on so that that seamless experience is going to be more seamless with Dish Network than with any other video provider. So that means your DVR is going to function in a more seamless way. You're not going to have to, it's going to be a much easier process so that you don't know when you switch from the web to linear TV. People are still going to watch the World Series, <coughs> the Super Bowl, or, or a 3D movie. They're still going to watch that from satellite. But when they want something more specific, they're clearly going to want to be able to do the web. And so we're just going to integrate that into a better product. If we build a better product, hopefully good things happen. It's interesting that one of the things that, that your company and ours did was focus on the analytics of television, which had not really been explored before. And this strikes me as an analytical platform at a whole new level in terms of measurement, accountability, advertising. Do you see that? How do you see, what are the, some of the things that you've learned in running an analytical television business as opposed to the traditional ones? Well, I think the analytics do two things for us. One is it allows us to give a, to give a better product to our customers so we can make recommendations. Uh, okay. Right? So you watch a, a Jimmy Stewart Western movie and maybe we're going to put up a Glenn Ford movie because we know those two might go together. Or the second thing we know is that from an advertiser point of view, who are also all of our customers, um, and they want to reach customers out there, that we can give them a better path where they get more more, they get to actually get a return on their investment, and we can show them they get a return on their investment to reach your customers. That's going to be better for customers because I'm not going to watch a diaper ad. I'm going to watch a Lexus ad or whatever. It might be more appealing to me. So um, I think all those things go, go hand in hand. And I think it's important that at Dish Network, we want to work with everybody in this room. Um, many of the applications that we saw here today, there's no question they're going to be hugely popular applications. But I would, I would predict that this room out there People out there will, 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 will invent new applications that will be even superior to what we saw today. Um, and we're going to make sure that you can work with Dish Network so you can do that in a more seamless way. Right, which is, in fact, why we're announcing all this now. So, so Brian, um, what I particularly like about you all is that you are the surviving and strongest and growing national retailer in the things that every single person in this audience cares about. Literally every single person here is a huge customer. Right. When you, when you think about the Christmas, and I, as I understand your industry, the profits really do come at Christmas, right? The, the, it really is a retail business in the, in the most It is brutal, certainly disproportionate. And it's just a most brutal kind of way. And these businesses are often mature now. So do you see, how do you see this playing out? You see this driving new traffic? Do you see this setting a new price point? It's a whole ecosystem. It's more than, it's more than a, a, a spot on your, on your um, aisle. It's really sort of a whole new aisle, if you will. So a couple things. One, Eric, we share your enthusiasm for the fact that we're a survivor. We, uh, we feel really great about that. Uh, that's one. Uh, two, uh, we have a saying inside Best Buy that this is the most important holiday Christmas selling season in the history of the company, and it's true every single year. What we're really enthusiastic about with what we've seen with Google TV and what we think it means is you're right. It's not just a new while. We, we think of it as a, an entirely new category, the smart TV, which we think uh, when properly demonstrated and properly um, explained to customers is going to solve real challenges they face today. Let me give you an example of what happens. And I, and I think this is absolutely how people are living today. So you're sitting in your family room or your home theater, or wherever it is you watch, and you're sitting with the people you care about and you're watching a basketball game. Invariably, in my house anyway, I'm sitting there with my laptop, my sons have their laptops, and we're arguing the age-old question, Kobe versus LeBron, and we're having a very spirited debate and everybody's pulling up their facts. This is really the first seamless experience I've seen that actually allows the source to be absolutely agnostic behind the television, and you're able to pull up the things you care about real time, and I think it is absolutely compelling, and I think there's going to be an enormous consumer appetite to do this. And again, I think it opens up an entirely new category, and uh, from a Best Buy perspective, 
We're pretty excited. We have 180,000 blue shirts out there that are pretty fired up about this new category. And we got 20,000 geeks in case everything doesn't work perfectly, as we know, even with the greatest technology in the world, it doesn't always work seamlessly. So we're really. So, what I was thinking, it. again, one of the reasons why you all have done so well is because of what you call the blue shirts. Yep. And the service quality is phenomenal in the stores. My sense in watching this is that it will be such a new idea for people that you're going to have to actually demonstrate it to them. Yeah, I you, you have to actually see it to do. get excited about it. You do. In fact, I, I was uh, fortunate enough to get an uh, in-depth demo last Friday. And when it is explained to you and you actually see what it is you can do and experience it, it's compelling. In fact, I need one. And it is a reoccurring That's theme. True. Right now, Howard, I need one. We have to talk about that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I do think it is going to be broadly accepted because it actually does address how people are in an ad hoc fashion enjoying and consuming media right now. Yeah, the, um, the, you hit the nail on the head because we haven't talked about third party developers and so forth. I mean, the, the, the opportunity to expand this universe above and beyond, I mean, it, it's, it's evolutionary because it will continue to evolve and it's upgradable. So you, you think of it in a whole new way. It's, it's active television. It's not only interactive, it's proactive as it grows and grows and grows and creates opportunities for people all over America and ultimately all over the world. It really is a very big deal. I, I can't stress that enough. And it's utterly, you can personalize it. It is your experience yeah. in a way that I think is going to be very, very compelling. Yeah. So, so I'm getting the hook from Vic. We're having such a good time. He had a long time on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the reason we wanted to do this announcement here and with all of our, our partners is that we need you to take this platform and build extraordinary things that we have not yet conceived of. We now have the tools, we have the volume, we have the economics, and we have the scale. All we need now are your ideas, your precious time, to build this set of applications, I think, to really not just define television in a new way, but ultimately to define how people entertain themselves and learn in what has historically been a medium that never, ever changed. This is a, a very, very exciting, from my perspective, beginning. And I want to thank everybody for spending so much time here, the commitments from your companies, and all of the work you guys are going to do with all of us to make this happen. So thank you all. It's thrilled to be here.